Let's see the second derivative test in action. Here we have our function along with its first and second derivatives. In order to solve for concavity, we need to set the second derivative equal to zero. When we find our corresponding x values, these are called the points of inflection. I'm going to go ahead and set up our number line here. We're going to plug in our point of inflection and find test values for all our intervals. We plug these into our second derivative because if they're positive or negative, that tells us if our function is concave up or down. So here in our first interval, we got that the second derivative was negative, which tells us our function is concave down. On our other interval, we got that the second derivative is positive, which tells us our function is concave up. Let's go ahead and check this out with the actual graph. We can see here that our second derivative is negative as it's below the x-axis, which tells us that our function is going to be concave down. Here we have our inflection point where it changes concavity. Here, our second derivative is positive, which tells us our function is concave up. If we wrote this out all nicely, we have g of x is concave down on negative infinity to negative 0.33 and concave up on negative 0.33 to infinity with a point of inflection at x equals negative 